So welcome to another Q&A. Got a little uh, plate of lychees here. And that's, that's a dinner-sized plate. <laughs> but here's the funny thing is, this is not even a meal. It's, I wouldn't even, it's almost like a snack. It's just to wet the mouth. The amount of carbohydrates in here is very low, but people say, wow, that's like a whole plate of fruit. Are you going to eat that whole plate of fruit just to yourself? Wow, that's a lot of fruit. And then people try the raw food lifestyle. I was eating plates of fruit. I had a plate of fruit for breakfast. Lychees. <laughs> Low calorie fruits. And they wonder why they uh, they fail. For me, a meal of lychees is at least four to five kilos or eight to 11 pounds. That's a meal of lychees for me. This is like a little, uh, little hors d'oeuvre. So anyways, the question of the day is a weight loss question. Let's, get, let's have a look up here on the screen. So the question is, Harley, I was wondering if you could make a video. The problem with the lychee season in Australia only lasts about two or three weeks and it's done. <laughs> it's crazy. Good lychees though. So the question is, I've lost 40 pounds of body fat in less than the year for the conventional calories in, calories out model with a moderate carb intake. Ooh, that sounds like dangerous. It worked for a while, but I noticed that I'm hitting the wall lately. I'm around 12% body fat in great shape. However, my strength has plateaued, not dropped. This person's basically uh, question is, will dramatically increasing my calories all at once cause me to put on a lot of weight really fast after my metabolism might have slowed from starvation? Will it be fat, other things like water weight? Should I increase my calories slowly? How much fat is too much? Would a handful of almonds a day or single avocado be too much? Aside from wheat and refined processed foods, are there any other carbs to stay away from? Well, this is an interesting one. Okay, so bottom line, the question is this person has lost 40 pounds from the you know calories in, calories out model. They haven't really detailed if they've sort of changed their diet that much. They said a moderate calorie, a moderate carb intake, which is always, you know, once you cut your carbs down, man, you're going to suffer. You're really, really going to suffer. You're going to want to eat the fat, fatty, greasy shit. And if you're disciplined enough, you can stay away from the fatty, greasy shit for a time but eventually you're going to be fucking eating it, you're going to be binging on it, you're going to be fucking your health and slapping on the pounds, either be today, next week, next month, next year, or in five years' time, or even a decade time. I know models from 10 years ago who were stunning, but they starved and smoked cigarettes and did pills and shit, stayed lean, looked good. Now they're obese or severely overweight, many of them. So, and it's sad to see. So you always want to have a sustainable approach, high carb, high calorie, low fat, that's where it's at. Get rid of the animal products, Get rid of the oil, cut down the salt, and it's easy for life, you know. And fruits, fruits, the focus. So that's what we're going here. So this person's question is: Will they rebound? Will I rebound? You got to rebound. If you if you thrash yourself, you got to rebound. You got to rebound. So this person's they've lost forty pounds, and they're down now to uh, five foot eight inches, one hundred forty four pounds. So, which is a BMI, BMI body mass index of around you know, twenty one. 21.9, something like that. So that's fine, that's, that's, that's good, man. You, you've reached your goal, but it depends how you got there. <laughs> it's a bit like I'm about to go to the airport, jump on a plane, and uh, there's many ways to get to the airport. I'm going in a car today, but I could get a lift with someone, or I could steal a car and get to the airport. I'm still getting to the airport, so it depends how you get to your destination, whether or not that's going to be sustainable. If I go and steal a car now, Likely, I'm going to get busted or you know, shit's going to happen down the road, but if you do it the right way, it's okay. So if you lose the pounds the right way, then you're going to be laughing. Like Chris Randall, Chris Randall is a classic example, you know, the raw food vegan guy. Dropped all the pounds, doing a McDougal program, then adding in more fruit and just melted, you know, 150 pounds of body weight. Chris Randall, real raw results, look him up. And there's, you know, uh, Victoria Everett, crazybananalady.org. Check out those people. You want to do it over long term. And how long has this person done it? Forty pounds in less than a year. That's yeah, that's not too that's not too bad. It just again depends how much you thrash yourself. If you thrash yourself, you've got to rebound. Even if you're eating healthy, like we get a lot of people who they thrash themselves, thrash themselves, get adrenal exhaustion, blow out everything, metabolism's just out of whack, fitness is just <laughs> chronic fatigue, whatever. And then they come over to the, you know the fruit lifestyle, eight one one, etc., and they put on some weight initially. And then they go, oh my god, 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 oh my god. You know, all over the forums, etc. But they don't understand that a lot of this excess weight is just water weight because their adrenal organs can't uh, 
stabilizes the body, body's fluid level, so you're getting all stuff that's out of whack. It's like if you're on certain medications like antidepressants, your weight can go right up, but you're not getting any fat, you're just, but you're getting, you, you look it's huge, but you're not getting any fat, it's just retention. Same with if you're on the contraceptive pill, a lot of these girls who go on the forums, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, help, 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 they've been on the pill for a long time, then they go off the pill because they're in the health, and then, you know, everything's just sort of readjusting itself. But people don't do it long enough, they just freak out over a month or whatever, a year even, just freak out and lose it, and then go start up other forums, writing us off or whatever. Or they just, you know, they give up. So people got to understand that the body's going to do its thing. It has its own agenda, like Doug Graham says, and I've learned that, that your body's got its own agenda. It's going to do its thing. So all you have to do is just do the right things. Do the right things. And it, it might rebound, it might not, but eventually, long term, it's all going to be sweet. It's all going to be sweet. It's a bit like if you have a, a garden, right, a fruit farm garden, and you're growing fruit with chemicals and you're getting results. I mean, the fruit tastes like shit, but you're, getting, you're producing the fruit. And then one day you think, I'm going to go organic, because organic's the way to go. It's the right thing to do for the planet. It produces better quality food. I'm going to go organic. So you go organic. And the first six months, your crops are shit. You're not producing anything, because the trees are used to all this stimulation and drugs and hormones, etc. Now you stop giving them that. The trees are sort of like flop down most of the time. You ask any organic farmer who does a conversion, most of the time they're at a loss for many years. Eventually, things start picking up. So it's the same analogy that people, they do it for a few months or a year, and they go, oh my God, it didn't work. And then it's like, hang on. <laughs> you stop doing drugs, you stop taking pills, you stop doing all this stuff, you're detoxing. Well, you had your starvation or anorexia or whatever, and you're detoxing, so your body's gonna like, just, you know, settle out before it gets, uh, gets better. Not always. Some people just generally just just lean right up and it's you know, happy sailing. But some people, with the harder you thrashed yourself in the past, likely chances are the more you're going to pay now. That's just how it is, man. You can't get around it. You can't like, oh, I'm different. My ego's stronger than the laws of nature and physics, and I'm going to break them. It's like no, you can't. You just break yourself. You just break down. You burn out. Look at Jan Ullish, the famous cyclist, best fitness best drugs, best training, whatever, great genetics, massive talent, massive mental focus, but shit diet, thrashed himself, now he's like, you know, borderline obese, when he's still young enough to win the Tour de France, you know what I mean, so we're talking, we're talking looking after the body as a priority, as a priority, so this person, you know, is, is doing fine, they're, they're doing, they're doing fine now, so just, you know, whatever you do, the, the body's going to, uh, do its thing, but you're doing, you're on track, man. So good on you, keep going. But if you know anything bad happens, don't uh, don't freak out. Just it's a bit like if you <laughs> if you're in an airplane, you get a bit of turbulence, <laughs> you start screaming, "We're gonna die! We're gonna die! We're gonna die!" That's just what happens. You get a bit of turbulence when you're on the plane. When you change your diet, you might get a bit of turbulence. It might be smooth flying. It might <laughs> might be a lot of turbulence. But you got to hold strong in your faith and take advice from people getting the results you desire and just cruise on. So many people get the turbulence and start shitting their pants. Not good. So again, this person's asking, will increasing my calories all at once cause them to put a lot of weight? So what, it depends what you're eating, man. If you're eating Big Macs, if you're eating 5,000 calories a day from Big Macs versus 5,000 calories a day from fruits, you're not going to look and feel the same and perform the same. It's, it's, people say that calories are calories. That's fucking bullshit. You, you don't eat 5,000 calories of burgers. And eat 5,000 calories, bananas, and dates. You're not going to look and feel the same. One's going to make you look and feel shit. One's going to make you look and feel great and have health. It's not the same. Calories in, calories out does not work. I mean, it's a guideline, but it's not absolute. It's like a glass of vodka and a glass of water. Oh, liquid's the same. Liquid's, liquid's in, liquid... No, 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 no. Big Macs and bananas are not the same. They're not the same. <laughs> Just to be sure on that, Big Mac is the bananas, not the same thing. So if you're on the fruit gig, man, you're going to get so lean on the fruit path in the long run. You're going to be emailing and go, oh my God, Harley, I'm, I'm, I'm too lean. Everyone says 2% body fat's not healthy. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm down to 1.5% body fat. And, and what should I do? That's what's going to happen eventually. So you don't have to worry about getting fat on fruit. It's like, even if you're eating rice. I mean, look at the Chinese rice workers. Have you seen any fat ones out there? Yeah, the guys who own the farm maybe and don't work anymore and they live on pork rind and beef fat and lard. And they don't eat rice because they say rice is fattening, got to eat meat to get slim. But all your workers in the field are lean as living on rice and vegetables and banana skins. So the next question is, should I increase my calories slowly 
don't increase your calories slowly, increase them now. <laughs> like saying, should I get a, a partner who's aligned with my values now or should I just do it slowly over time? Should I just like go through the people and you know, get someone with like half decent standards and just, no, no, go now, straight to the top, definitely. Go straight to the top, go straight to the top in a smart fashion. And how much fat is too much fat? Read 801010 by Doug Graham, under 10% of total calories, that's where you're at. Would a handful of almonds a day or single avocado be too much? No, it wouldn't, but depend, no, not for your body weight and for the amount of energy you want to have, it's not too much, but you want to keep your fat low. Under 10% of total calories, do the basic math. It's grade three, actually maybe it's grade four maths. Real easy, I can do it, I'm not exactly Einstein. Last question, aside from wheat and refined processed foods, are there any other carbs to stay away from? Well, bananas, date smoothies, processed refined food. Well, it's not really refined, but it's processed. But they're great things to have, I have them all the time. Wheat. Wheat's not the best because it's got gluten. I sort of stay away from the wheat because it might affect my breathing on my bike, but wheat doesn't make anyone fat. Even the guy who wrote the book Wheat Belly, William Davis, sure he's a nice guy, but the dude's, the dude's overweight. So the dude looks, I mean, wheat belly. I, like, how, how do you write a book that says wheat makes you fat, gives you a belly, when you've got a belly? You don't eat wheat? Like, what, what's going on here? So wheat, the problem with wheat is what it is attached to. People normally have wheat, they're normally having like pasta with cream and eggs and chickens and shit. If you're having, you know, wheat away from all those toxic foods, then it's going to be a lot better. Better yet, how about some fruit? Well, you don't like fruit? Okay, potatoes, the gluten-free starches, things like that. For me, it's the fruits to win. And that's about it, man. But just give things time. Give things time. People are trying to do this, like, reverse their life in a year. And I applaud the enthusiasm, but reality is... It, it takes more than a year to plant an awesome fruit garden. It takes more than it takes 5, 10, 15, 20 years, man. And that's just how it is. So you can try and rush it up by just trying to take shortcuts, but you'll just end up in the dead end alleyways with rats chewing at your toenails and people chucking hot water on your face. It's not, it's not good. So you want to do it the smart way. Smart way. Always eat more than eating less. Always sleep early nights. Get the carbs in, smash in the carbs, never under eat your carbs. Get your water so you're peeing clear at least 10 times a day. Just the basic stuff that I keep rambling on about 10 grams of carbs per kilo body weight per day. Easy. Just chow, 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 chow. Stuff your face every meal for the rest of your life. The only time you shouldn't eat is when you're sleeping. Alright, thanks for watching.